am here to let you in on a little secret. All of us want flat, sexy cores. We want to feel good in a bikini and feel good in crop tops. But here's the deal. You cannot get a flat, strong core without adding resistance training. So many women stray away from weights because they fear that they're going to bulk up. But let me tell you something. The women that you see bulking up, they are not doing the same training that you and I are doing. They are eating loads of protein. They are drinking drinks. They are taking supplements. They are working with trainers. They are doing things specifically for their body to bulk up. As women, we are not genetically inclined to bulk up like men. So you're only going to be doing yourself a favor by adding resistance training because muscle burns fat. So the more muscle you create in your body, the faster fat will be burned because your muscles need that food, they need that nutrition. So they're going to burn through calories faster, they're going to, your metabolism is going to be amped up and you're going to get the results you want. Today I'm going to show you some resistance training using some resistance bands. And today I am going to show you five or six moves, I'm not, I can't really remember, um, but I'm going to show you a few moves that you can do using these bands that are like a whole $10 at Walmart. So let's get started. The first move we are going to do is going to be a simple bicep curl. So depending on the amount of tension you want, you can either have your feet close together or further apart. You want to make sure that you feel the tension when your hands are here at your hips or at your waist. You're going to keep your elbows close to your side. You're going to keep your core pulled in, your shoulders pulled back, and you're just going to curl up just as you would with free weights. Okay? Now, if you need more tension, if you feel like this is not challenging enough, you're going to bring your feet out even farther. The further the band is stretched, the more tension you're going to get. So, do just as so. And that is a simple bicep curl. You're working your biceps, clearly. The next workout we are going to do is a lateral raise. It is very important that you do this workout correctly as it can harm your shoulders if you do not. So you want the tension to kind of start at your waist. You want to feel a little bit of tug on the resistance band. What you're going to do is keep your elbows a little bit bent. Keep, again, your shoulders back, your core pulled in, chest out, and you're going to lift up. You're going to keep your shoulders or your elbows slightly bent as to not flex them and cause too much tension in that area. You're going to feel this in your shoulders mainly. You'll also feel it a little bit in your back and possibly your chest. Simple, easy workout. Again, if you need more resistance, move your feet further apart and continue like so. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. The next workout we are going to do is going to be a tricep extension. This is going to be working your triceps. It's going to be working the back of your arms, okay? So you're going to want to make sure that the bands are kind of by your ears and that your elbows are pulled forward. You don't want them out like this. You want them pulled in towards your ears. Now, you can either do both hands extended up at the same time or you could do one at a time. This may take getting used to because the band is going to be moving around, but that's perfectly normal. Simple, simple workout. Focus on keeping your elbows pulled in towards your ears. Okay. The next workout we are going to do is going to be an upright row. So again, you want to take your feet out further because the band isn't coming as high as it was for the tricep extension. And then you're going to keep your hands in front of you with the front of your hands facing forward, your palms facing back. <laughs> this is a kitty cat. Then you're going to take the resistance band and you're going to pull it up. And this is a row. You want your um, shoulders back. You want your elbows going up. This is going to work your back and it's going to work your shoulders. Easy, simple workout. The last workout we are going to do is going to be a shoulder press, just as if you were using free weights, just like all the rest of these moves. 
So, you're going to take your feet a little closer because the band needs to come higher. So you need a little less tension. And then you are going to have your palms facing forward. Your arms just like this. Again, shoulders back. And you are going to push up just as if you were doing a shoulder press. I'm telling you guys, these are simple. You could do them anywhere. A band is like $10 at Walmart and you are building a little bit of muscle, burning that fat and getting a flat core. So that is it for today's workout. If you would like to see more workouts that you can do using a resistance band, leave a comment below, as well as if you want to see um, exercises using different home equipment such as the ball or a BOSU or bands or anything like that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please leave it in comments for any videos you would like to see and thumbs up this video if you would like to see more. I'll see you guys later. Bye!